Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, just wanted to come with another guide video, this time for Hollow Knight on how to back up your save. Um, and I think this is really important, not for the same reason as Dark Souls, but because on Hollow Knight, one thing that kind of irks me is you only get four save slots, but sometimes you want to do more than four things at once. So today we're going to learn how to do that uh, very quickly. First thing you want to do is go to your search bar and type percent app data percent just like we did in the last uh, in, in the dark souls video so it's percent app oh, not another a there app data percent okay make this bigger now this is the wrong folder actually <laughs> So, you know, you got other stuff there like Sekiro and Dark Souls, but you actually want to go back, not for, so you don't want to be in the roaming folder. You want to go to the app data folder and then go to local low. Now in local low, there's Team Cherry, then you go to Hollow Knight. Okay, so this is going to be the folder with all your Hollow Knight save files, okay? There's going to be two types of files. There's going to be these dat files. You can see here and type dat and then back files. Now the back files are important, ignore them. Don't touch them, don't do anything with them. What we wanna focus on are these user one, two, three, and four. Okay, so these are the dat files. Now if we just go to my game, you can see that I am currently in deep nest. I'll just show you to make sure that this works. So this is a game I'm currently working on, and I don't want to lose it yet. Uh, by the way, every time you sit at a bench or quit the game, it's going to save your game, and it's going to update your save files in this folder. You just saw it then. We're going to quit. Now we're going to back this file up. This one is the user 3 file. So we're going to go to user 3, copy, and then go to some other local, uh, some make, make a backup uh, folder locally on your computer somewhere. I have one here on my external drive where I've got my Dark Souls backup save files, my Sekiro backup save files, my Warhammer 2 Total War save files, and my Hollow Knight save files, okay? Now I've already made a folder here for this one. It's going to be called QS Zoat because I did not save Zoat, okay? And we're going to paste it in here and I highly recommend you rename this. So we're going to call it QS Enzo, and you'll see why in a moment, okay? Now, we're going to delete this. Always delete and not replace, because then that way if you make a mistake, it will be in your recycling bin, okay? Now to test this, we have deleted that save file for that game now. We're going to click on this, and you'll see that it, it didn't work, okay? Now you don't actually have to click on it yourself, I'm just showing you. Now we go back into my um, Hollow Knight backup saves. I made a practice file that I have when I um, practice on. I'm going to go in here and see how it's called. I renamed it practice file. The reason I want to do that is so when I paste it in here, it's not a save file. It's not going to interact with the game at all. And I can decide what save slot I want to put it in. In this case, we've already decided we're going to put it into save slot 3. So we're going to rename this user 3. Okay. Now, we go back to the game and we click start. It still says deep nest. That is completely fine. If you quit, if you quit out of the game entirely, you don't have to do this, but if you quit out of the game entirely and then restart the game, it will refresh that screen, but you don't have to do that. You can just click on this deep nest file. And it's going to load my practice file where I'll be in Dirt Mouth instead. So this is my practice file. This is on current patch, by the way. Like, uh, I'm currently on current patch. Um, the exception is I have brought everyone... Oh, okay, Teaser's not there. But I've brought everyone to Dirt Mouth. So Breda. We have um, the map shop. We have uh, the stag station. We have Sly. And we also have the, the Grim Troop. I've also, on this file, got every map from Cornifer and opened up every area. I have unlocked every stag station in the game. And Myla is still alive. 
But other than that, everything else in this game is hasn't been done yet. So you can see I've got no spells, no upgrades on anything. I've got no, with the exception of Wayward Charm, I've got no charms, uh, no Hunter's Journal. So this is a completely new game. Nothing has been done. No NPCs except for the bare minimum have been interacted with and every area is open. So this is just a practice file I made for myself. I'll put this up on a Google Drive. If you'd like it, I'll put a link to the description in below. This should be um, compatible with anyone. Um, and it's cu current patch. We'll just head back out now. And that's how you back up and reload save files. Any questions, just let me know in the description below. Now watch this, this interacts real time with the folder. So if I clear this save, it was, it's going to delete the save from my folder. And there you go, you just see it disappear. Okay, now also I did try to think that maybe if you put user files beyond 4, they would create saves, but see, you see I've got this user 5 save here. You can see there's no 5th save slot here. So we don't need that. That's um, That was just, I thought I'd just show. Okay. Also, if you have an empty save slot, don't put in a new save there must already be a save um, there I'll show you so if I put user 3 here so I've got a, a third save slot but there's new game here it's just gonna save over this user 3 and it's not gonna be whatever save file you put in there so there's also that yeah see it's a completely new game so that's how you do it just go percent eight that percent app data percent go back to um app data folder go local low team cherry hollow knight copy the user dat files put them somewhere else on your computer rename them uh, i recommend renaming them according to the choices that you made so whether you save zone or not um etc so you know clearly what they are and then if you want that practice file that I, I mean, I made it for myself, but if you want it, I'll put that up on Google Drive. It will be compatible with anyone on PC. Um, yeah, so thank you. I hope you found this video helpful. Um, it's just useful to have more than four save files sometimes and definitely to back up your saves so you don't lose anything in case a save file does come become corrupted. We're going to be doing more on these save file series on various games. There's different applications you can use. Um, so if you find this video helpful, please like, leave a comment, subscribe. I'm really trying to get to a thousand subscribers and thank you everyone for stopping by.